I'm Caroline Savory, and today I'm introducing Cooperative Conversations. Cooperative Conversations is uh, a podcast, um, basically an audio-only uh, recording archive, where I will be sharing uh, kind of an inside view into cooperative development. So I've been a co-op developer for the past nine years. Um, I was mentored by Lisa Stolarski in Pittsburgh, PA, working with Keystone Development Center. Um, since I moved to Denver in late 2013, um, I've been working with Rocky Mountain Farmers Union Co-op Development Center, um, as well as other organizations such as the Center for Community Wealth Building um, to provide cooperative education, um, training, information, and to provide um, technical assistance in terms of the cooperative business startup process. I've worked with um, over a dozen different co-op startups um, of all different industries from consumer-owned food co-ops, uh, that is retail grocery stores, to um, you know, companies that are owned by the providers of goods and services, like holistic healthcare um, practitioners, um, to uh, worker cooperatives. So in my um, really dynamic, interesting career, um, I've also worked at the national level with organizing youth in cooperatives. Um, I was a co-founder with Nathan Schneider of the Colorado Co-op Study Circle in 2016 and 2017. Um, I have uh, taught workshops at the Association of Cooperative Educators conferences. Um, I've just had a really um, dynamic career. And it's true that most people, or most of the conversations that I have are an initial exploratory early stage conversation where somebody approaches me and they say, hey, I think I want to start a co-op. Could you talk to me about it? Could you consult with me um, just to, you know, let me know if am I on the right track? Is this something I really want to do? You know, that kind of a thing. And those conversations are frequent. Um, there's many of them. Um, and not all of them actually end up going in the direction of cooperative development. So um, getting all these inquiries um, of people curious about co-ops, which has only increased in the last couple of years, I realized that this is a good opportunity to um, shine a light and open a window into the cooperative development process. Co-ops, you see, are different than traditional businesses. Whereas a traditional business may decide it wants to be private and proprietary in the early stages of development, um, cooperatives are all about collective power, people power. And so from an early stage, they actually have an incentive to raise awareness of what they're doing and promote what they're doing to their communities to build the sense of buy-in and excitement and engagement with the cooperative um, from their communities that would be affected by the cooperative. So uh, with Cooperative Conversations, I'll be producing um, simple recordings of these early stage conversations so that co-op co entrepreneurs can share what they're up to with their communities and also um, aspiring co-op entrepreneurs can listen in to these conversations and learn a little bit about what questions get asked in those early stage conversations. What should I be thinking about? What should I be prepared for? Um, and also, I believe this can be a tool to help, um, you know, be a training uh, resource for new co-op developers, people who want to get into the industry of helping start co-ops like myself. So I'm hoping that this becomes uh, a useful informational resource to the community um, and something that allows us to build community around cooperatives, around a cooperative economy right here in Denver um, and beyond. So I hope you'll support Cooperative Conversations. You can do so by visiting patreon.com slash cooperative. Um, and your donation will go towards producing these contents and making them public so that uh, anyone and everyone can share in these resources. The podcast will also feature some special guests from around the cooperative ecosystem here locally and also my connections nationally um, so we can hear from 
people who are leaders in cooperativism, cooperative culture and best practices, um, and some of those deeper themes of what makes cooperatives work or, or not work, not succeed. So I hope you'll support and thank you so much.